Taoiseach, yesterday the sad news broke that F Vicky Phelan had passed away. Her two children, Amelia and Dara, have lost their beautiful mother so early in their lives. And our hearts go out to her husband, Jim, to her heartbroken parents, Gabby and John, and to Vicky's family and friends devastated by her death. The nation mourns with them. Vicky Phelan was a force of nature. In pursuit of justice, she was fearless, relentless. She was unstoppable. If it wasn't for Vicky's courage, the cervical check scandal may never have been exposed. With inspiring dignity, Vicky took on the state that had failed her so badly. It was a battle she should never have had to fight, but fight it she did until her very last breath. Vicky endured her illness. She never backed down in campaigning for the women and girls of Ireland, and her legacy will live on. We owe her so much. Vicky, as has been said, didn't want fame or adulation. She wanted purposeful change. And Taoiseach, the best way to honour Vicky's memory is to complete the work that she did. That means bringing the testing of screening samples back to Ireland. Testing continues to be outsourced to labs in the United States at the centre of the cervical check scandal. Currently, 85% of cervical check sample testing is outsourced abroad. The National Cervical Screening Laboratory was due to open in September, and yet the women of Ireland are still waiting. Completing the work also means delivering the long-promised legislation for open disclosure. The Scali Review recommended that a statutory duty of candour be established to ensure that people are told the truth when something goes wrong in their health care. Yet, incredibly, the Patient Safety Notifiable Incidents Bill published by government in 2019 wouldn't cover disclosure of the incidents at the heart of the cervical check scandal. We in Sinn Féin have proposed amendments to rectify this issue, but Minister Donnelly has, for seven months now, failed to progress the legislation. Again, the women of Ireland are left waiting. We must also, Taoiseach, see the reinstatement of the Cancer Audit Review of Screening, which was suspended four and a half years ago. And I should say, uh, last count call, it's the wish of Vicky's family that these specific issues are raised today because she cared so passionately about this change. Everyone in the Dáil is committed to ensuring that we never again see the failures of the cervical check scandal. So we're going to have to work together to deliver the change that Vicky wanted to see. Is saying Balakas Fiar can almost a horch the quivna Vicky, no skaghash thal a horch a rashka heron, a gusraktiuk a curivime igor nukta uskulcha. Tishuk, we're all waiting for the National Cervical Screening Laboratory to open. When will this happen? Will you ensure that when it opens, it has the capacity to test all cervical screens conducted in this state? Taoiseach, when will the Minister for Health progress the open disclosure legislation? And that legislation must be amended to ensure that it covers the type of incidents at the centre of the cervical check scandal. The law must provide for open disclosure. Vicky Phelan was very clear. She said, I want action, I want change, I want accountability. So let's get this done together for Vicky, for all the women that we have lost, and for those women who continue to suffer and to fight for justice.